This is the 2023 Toyota Sienna XLE in pre-dawn gray mica. Available only as a hybrid, this is America's ultimate family road trip vehicle. The XLE is available in either seven passenger seating or eight passenger seating. It means it has a second row either bench or captain's chairs. That's front wheel drive, both of those. Or you can get all wheel drive in seven passenger. This one's the seven passenger front wheel drive. 36 miles a gallon, 245 horsepower, smooth, quiet, comfortable. Let me give you a quick interior look. And then we're gonna open it this way. Can we do that with the side doors too? Be like, yeah, we can. So both side doors kick activated. The back door, kick activated. Lots of room behind the third row. Plenty of room in the second row. Are you kidding me? And we've got lots of room and plenty of features to talk about in the main cabin. So let's look under the hood and see what makes this thing tick. Tick, tick, boom. I'm bringing the noise. We've got a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with electric motor power. Has a nickel metal hydride battery. What does this give you for power? 245 net hybrid horsepower. And yes, it's enough power to get you going up hills, pulling out into tight traffic, merging onto a highway, it's got it. This is a CVT transmission. I see hood blanket, I see prop rod out of the way. And then for those who want to look under the hood, maybe only one time in your car's history, your car's life, you get to see it. It's there. What about suspension and brakes? Well, in the rear, we've got double wishbone style, multi-link suspension. And in the front, we've got McPherson struts. These are disc brakes, all four, 12.9 inch disc brakes in the front. And we got 12.5 inch disc brakes in the back. Whistle if you see something you like. It's got LED headlights, daytime running lights. It's also got LED fogs down here as well. It's beautiful because it's encased with chrome all the way down along the bottom. And we've got a little bit of chrome going on here. Chrome, that might mean more high class, more luxury. This is only an XLE. Yeah, look at that. That is fantastically gorgeous. It has parking sensors in the front, also in the back. This has Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. I like using the road sign assist because it can tell me when there's a stop sign, yield sign, do not enter sign, and the speed limit sign. It can tell me right on the dash, that way if I'm distracted or something like that, not that I would be, but if I'm distracted or something like that, well, it would tell me. Like, hey yo, stop. This is 36 in the city, 36 on the highway, 36 combined. If you get confused, think, well, 36. It's an 18 gallon fuel tank and 87 octane is just fine. Whoop. So are we all in agreement? This is a beautiful looking vehicle. A fantastic looking ride. We can pull those, it's not by power. We've got a cutout window here for better visibility. What else we got? Take a look at these beautiful 17 inch silver metallic alloy wheels. So sharp. Down along the rocker panels, that's where you're gonna see the Wi-Fi symbol. That tells you that's where to kick. Do just like I showed you. You can pull this off just like a mattress tag. Only remove it if you're the customer. Why can't I remove it before? Why does the customer have to remove the mattress tag? What's the deal with that? We've got chrome window treatment all the way along the top. We've also got matching chrome handles. Look at that, that's auto lock and unlock there. This does not have turn signal indicators, that would have been a nice touch. But it does have blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. Look at that huge window cutout, great for visibility. And then we'll come out here, it's got privacy glass in the back, so it's already semi-tinted, I guess we can call it. And then we'll come around here, don't come around here no more. We've got a whale tail right there. Very cool, LED tail lights. Shaboom. We're gonna back this thing up now so you can see what it looks like. We'll go forward, 
You better believe we're going to go backward. Holla. So you can see the reverse lights, the backup lights. Very cool. Turn signal on. We got our flashers. So what impresses me about the back? Well, the 3,500 pound tow capacity. So get your bike racks and small trailers and things like that ready. We've got backup sensors right here. We've got backup camera, lots of backup things. Well, it's the back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. S-I-E-N-N-A, kind of reminds me of Sequoia now, except for Sequoia is a little blockier. We got the hybrid logo there. And then if you want to open it, you could do it that way. I can use the key. I can use this button right here or the one right by the license plate. A lot of cargo space. This is a deep storage compartment where we can get 33 cubic feet of space behind the third row, 75 behind the second row, and behind the first row, drum roll, 101 cubic feet of storage space. I mean, look at this. We've got hooks. I mean, look at this thing. Then we've got a lot of deep storage space here. Look at the here. We can put the front license plate and we could put a first aid kit. So we could pull that, we could recline that. So let's just kind of pop that in like that. We can also tilt that forward and then just pull that. So a couple different ways that we could move our storage that way to open up more room. One of my favorite selling points or features of Sienna, just the sheer amount of leg room that you get. Woo! Woo! Like that, so I can move it anywhere along this. Keep going, Jeff. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys like my socks? So I'm coming back. Woo! That's crazy, we're coming in hot. So we can also recline our seat this far too. That's pretty cool, right? And that frees up a ton of room for people in the back row. Look at this right here. That's impressive, right? We can move it back. Of course we can move it back, but still I've got lots of room. I've got decent headroom here. We can always slide across here. The seats are very plush, very comfortable, which is a major, major, point for me to be interested in. I want to be comfy if I'm in the back seat. Some third row features that might be important to you. We've got USB ports in the back. We've got cup holders, drink holders. Good room there. And look at the difference in recline. It's recline. You guys know that song I'm trying to do a horrible parody of. We've also got rear air vents right there. And this is how you control the rear air or you can control it from there. What else can I tell you? Well, we've got these right here. We've got lower grips, higher grips. So this handles really help you get up if you got hip problems, knee problems, any type of problems. I got 99 problems, but Sienna ain't one. We got Sienna here, charging ports. Oh, USB-A, USB-C. Look at that, a hook for whatever you wanna hang there, like a purse or a bag. Then we've got cup holders right here, a little storage for whatever you want. Pretty cool. Also have sunshades. Look at that. Be throwing some shade, spilling some tea. And here's the view from the second row. Got this beautiful decking. It's like at your house, out on the deck. Well, you can store things there, tabletops. You could rest anything in front. It's a lot of work surface. Now for a passenger, we can move ourselves forward and backward with the power seat, but we cannot raise it and we cannot twist it. You can recline it. That's kind of cool. Has a grab handle up here. That might help people get in. That could help. I'm still going down. All right, I stopped. That's good. What else can you tell me? Well, we've got this matching finish right here that matches the flight deck. I just love that feature. So much room. If you've got that space, why not use it for something that people will find practical and helpful? Soft touch, big, big area, surface area there. Makes the windshield look long and your cabin feel spacious. Soft tech seating right here. It is very comfortable. And look at this pattern here. I hope my camera can pick that up. 
almost looks like weird fish scales. Just kidding, it's not fish scales. People are like, I don't like fish. I don't want fish scales, it's not. And then look down here, look at this huge storage area. Shabam, holla. We have a lot and a 12 volt circular as well. This might be a good place to put a phone. Lots of cup holders. All right, USBs down there too. Lots of room. All right, so look on in here. Got soft touch. Got finish right there. And then we've got soft tech seating. Sunroof standard. Toyota calls it moonroof, so I'll call it moonroof as well. Why not? If the side doors are not working, it's because that button's pushed in. So now they'll be working with power. All right, we got a leather wrap steering wheel. Here are our controls. When I tell you about this multimedia, it's a nine inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This is not the Toyota Audio multimedia that other 23 models are getting. Just so you know, it's not wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Works very well, but it doesn't have those features. A lot of people are asking about that, but it does not have that. All right, there's a view of what we can get with those. So here we've got EV mode, electronic brake hold, and electronic parking brake. We've got different drive modes. There's gonna be eco mode, normal, and sport mode, depending on whether you want faster acceleration or better gas mileage. Here's our energy meter. It's actually a really good system. Turn that down. Got audio. So you still have Sirius XM and a lot of features on here. We've got Wiz Khalifa. So. This one does not have the standard built-in navigation system. It's got an eight speaker system. And then up top here, we've got auto dimming rear view mirror with three home link settings, a little spy camera so you can see the kids in back, they can see you. And then we've got lights, safety connect. And then this is to open the side doors and that's to open the back door. Sunroof, hello. And then we've got lighted mirror with slider. Wiki, 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 wiki. Window sticker time. XLE, front wheel drive, seven passenger, pre-dawn gray, made in Princeton, Indiana. Great safety ratings. Here we go, 36, 36, 36. Straight across the board, mechanical and safety. Just stop the video if you wanna inspect on your own. This starts at 40,695, no factory options on this particular one. Then we've got some regional assembly port options. And then we'll go down here, add in the 1215 for delivery. This one's available at Fred Anderson Toyota, 43,998. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you, everybody. Hope you learned a little bit about Sienna. It's a great, great vehicle, and I hope you have given it a try, have bought one, or will consider it. I really believe in this one, and I think you'll find it's an excellent, excellent family road trip. Also, commuter vehicle or weekend camping vehicle as well. What do you think, though? Leave a comment. You guys are the best. You're the best because you hit subscribe and are joining my channel. Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we've got Auto Jeff Reviews, my second channel, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All right, everybody, peace to the world. See you next time.